Raw photos come straight from the camera sensor, so they give you lots more control when editing. You can take raw photos in iOS 10, but not with the default camera. Some raw photo apps include Manual, Pro Camera, and Adobe Lightroom. And RAW is only supported on the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, 6S or 6S Plus, the iPhone SE or the 9.7 inch iPad Pro. These photos take up a lot of storage space, so make sure you clear some room before you start. Once you've found an app, turn on RAW photo shooting in the settings. Look for an option like DNG. The next step is to edit. You may be able to do this in the same app, or you can use Snapseed, which also supports raw editing. But make sure you don't do this from your camera roll because it can only edit JPEGs. To show you an advantage of shooting raw, here's a side-by-side. -side. Using the highlights and shadow sliders to bring out more detail, there's lots more data recovered in the sky by the sun on the raw file compared to the JPEG. You can also tweak the white balance after the shot's been taken. Exporting RAW photos varies with each app, but if you want to shoot RAW on your phone and edit on the desktop, the easiest way is to export the unedited file from the camera roll using AirDrop. Lightroom's RAW export process is complicated, so it's best to make your edits in the app, then export as a JPEG. Now you can shoot in RAW, you have a whole lot more control over what your photos look like and the benefits of non-destructive editing.